Certainly the skeletal evidence shows that leprosy was around in the era BC um, in parts of Asia, but the, the first clinical description of loss of sensation, which is one of the prime features of leprosy, comes from the 13th century. So that was at the time in Europe when there was definitely a lot more leprosy. It is something of a mystery that uh, leprosy disappeared in most of Europe. Leprosy died out before there was any big improvement in social conditions or in wealth. And one, one idea that I quite like is that uh, it's possible that the rise of TB with um, when the Industrial Revolution occurred and there was a lot of overcrowding uh, and TB became common, uh, TB and leprosy are very similar organisms, and so it's conceivable that there was a sort of um, immune effect or a, even that TB vaccinated people against leprosy. One of the biggest advances um, in knowledge about leprosy was in the 1870s when Amar Hansen discovered the bacillus that causes leprosy and so that uh, then led on to looking for, for treatment and Dapsone was the first drug that was effective against leprosy which was used for leprosy in about 1940 onwards and then we in 1981 the World Health Organization developed a combination of three drugs which was very potent at, at killing the bacillus and that is now used for all cases and is very effective in treating the disease. One thing that is just uh, starting now is what we call post-exposure prophylaxis, which is to give somebody who's a contact of a, a known case a single dose of a drug, rifampicin, uh, which uh, reduces the chances that they get leprosy by over 50%. So that's quite a simple intervention that can be done uh, to gradually reduce the number of new cases and reduce the transmission. I think we can be hopeful that the problem of leprosy will decline. I think there'll be fewer and fewer new cases. And the cases that are that, that are diagnosed uh, will hopefully be treated well. But I think we also should remember that uh, there are still younger people who are still becoming disabled from leprosy. Very few, fortunately. But uh, so they will be alive for another sixty or eighty years, and uh, we need to work against discrimination and stigma and, and work for uh, good rehabilitation for people affected. Uh, so there, there are, it's not only the infection, but there are other consequences of leprosy that will need to be managed for, for quite some time.